Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV and Boat. In this video, I'm going to wrap my fifth wheel trailer with Easy Snap Winter Skirting, and we'll show you how to attach it with the snaps and studs, and uh, along the bottom with the pipe clamps. So let's get to it. Okay, got a nice calm morning. Very little wind, so I'm going to hang the skirt. I've gone around the whole RV and added all the snaps to all the studs. So when I put the skirt on, I'll put it on and press it through the fabric all the way along. Here's a little tip for you for putting these snaps on. You're doing so many, it can get really hard on your fingers, sharp edges, you know, pointy spike there. So a ballpoint pen, just took the ink thing out. It works pretty good actually. Gives you some good leverage, just like so. Makes it quick and easy. Save your fingers. I decided to start at this end of the slide because this is where I would like the seam to meet. I'm going to try to make a continuous run all the way around the RV. But uh, the bumper will be kind of a complex area. So I like the very tail end piece to go around here so I can work on that complex area. Also, I'm going to put a door here. So this will be a good access point if I want to open it up and get at things. I could use it for storage. Also, my sewer hose may be coming out of here because a lot of the sewer outputs are at the back of the RV. So I'll be, it'll allow me access to get in there and make a, an opening for the the sewer hose to come through. Your RV may vary, but that works best on my RV. One side done. You can see the straight parts are easy. It gets a little tricky when you have to wrap around corners. But the studs push through the fabric pretty easy. And now I'm just going to go through and uh, put some caps on. So the idea is to get that material right to the bottom of the stud. Because there's a bunch of ridges in there that lock the cap in place. And if the material is too high, you won't get enough ridges and then your caps will be falling off all the time and you won't get a secure fit. So I usually take a little, a pair of uh, pliers, flat edge pliers, at the, they call them duckbill, and then I can put, make sure that all the fabric is at the base before I put the caps on. But first I'm going to go right around the RV and uh, fit the material onto all the studs in case I have to do any minor adjustments it's easier than having to pull the caps off again. So we went around with a pair of flat nose pliers and just made sure that skirty material was right snug against the base of the snap or the stud. Now I'm going to go put the snaps on. They just press fit and then they have a little locking clip. You can get them off afterwards, but each time you remove them, you're kind of weakening the, the, the snapping ability. So. It's good to be able to just do it once. Let's 
snaps just press fit. Pretty easy to do. You just want to make sure, like I say, they bottom out. You should give them like a little twist at the end. Just make sure they're all the way in there. There we go. So now I have to cut the excess fabric where I need doors to open, storage bays, and propane locker. So I find try to just do the minimal at first just to make it functional you don't want to cut too much away so you can always trim it later but you can't add it back also gives you some room to uh, adjust things if you have to So, next thing to do is put on the pipe clamps. So I kind of pull the skirting down so that it just, everything's resting on the ground. And then these clamps go on and that keeps the fabric attached to the piping underneath. Now I kind of made a mistake when I went and got the piping. Um, Easy Snap recommends three quarter inch piping and I ended up buying one inch piping, which you can do. But the pipe, keep in mind the pipe clamps that they have on their site are three quarter inch. So if you were to go one inch, you'd have to go get one inch pipe clamps, which are available. But these should work for my demo here. They'll, they'll go on there, but they probably, they probably in uh, practice, they would probably end up snapping very easily. You have to get the right size. Anyway, I'm just going to go around and attach these, show you how that works. There you go, kind of gives you the idea what it's going to look like. I always find this part is difficult on my rig. The winter I spent, that was always the hard corner because you're going around a corner and then another corner quite quickly. So kind of just have to adjust it and try to figure out the best situation for that. So we'll continue on and clamp the rest of it and then we'll get to uh, work on the back part where the bumper is. But she's starting to look pretty good. You can see I also have the Easy Snap shades. I put them up just so you can see how they look. Same deal, same type of snaps. It's kind of a mesh material so it blocks the heat from getting into your RV but you can still see out a bit through them, kind of like a screen door. Okay, well, we're looking pretty good. Got everything roughed in, there's a few places to tidy up, but I'll give you a look around the rig. Like I said, Accordion stairs will be a little bit different. You're gonna to have to cut a slit in the fabric and wind it around. These stairs flip up into the door, so they make it quite easy. You can just go straight across just to cut a little bit of a dip. And then here's the back bumper section. It's always a bit tricky. Rather than wrap the bumper though, you'd really want to get get the skirting in between the bumper. So you have to cut a slit and then wrap around here. Mine, I have a middle area too. This is a pull-out bumper with a, with a tire that sits here, tire holder, and there. What I did do when I did my winter skirting a few years ago is I cut a length of uh, the fabric and then using their their Velcro, um, I, I kind of put it on top of that just to tidy it up, give it a little more protection there. 
So there's different ways to go. And we wound it around and I was able to go with just one cut, one opening. So I wrapped it all the way around. And then in here, I've put their uh, Velcro, high bond Velcro. I'll show you how it's best to attach that in a later video. And go around here to my slide. And also I've uh, put in a little access port with that Velcro. This is where my sewer hose comes out. So I'll put some of the Velcro in there so I can pull it off and have the sewer come out, attach it or not attach it. Give some options there. Anyway, looks pretty good. Stay tuned for more videos. Give you, like I say, I'll give you a look at how to do that Velcro, maybe some tips and tricks, that sort of thing.